my poor pinky. Hey best pally, I'm Allie, and I think my body has gone into ketosis before, but I'm not actually sure. So I invented this challenge, and you are seated in the stadium to watch the first Metabolic Olympics. I am the only competitor, and I'm going to, excuse me, I'm eating a ton of carbs and then starting the clock to see how fast my body gets into fat burning mode. But this video isn't just about being in ketosis. So staying in ketosis has been shown to be good for your brain, for staying fit, for fighting diseases, but I believe there is a better state for long-term health and that is known as metabolic, metabolic flexibility. flexibility. Metabolic flexibility means that your body uses whatever fuel it has. So whether it's fat that you eat or fat that's on you or carbs that you eat or carbs that are stored in your muscles as glycogen. And if you're not metabolically flexible, you could be hungry or grumpy or distracted and brain fogged if you don't eat every three hours. If your body doesn't get carbs, it like panics. And I know this because that was me for many years. I was just grazing all day and then I started intermittent fasting and now I'm focused and feel awesome all day. You can check out my fasting video for a way more in-depth view of that. And I'm guessing I feel great because my body learned to use what it has instead of me constantly needing to graze. But that is just a guess. Until now because I got this meter that will actually tell me. I have measured in the past using these ketone pee strips but I've heard they're not reliable, and so I feel like maybe I'm not really going into ketosis, even though I want to believe I am. Liar. So I'm stoked to finally have something that's way better at measuring, which is real numbers to see if I'm superhuman. And the reason that I think metabolic, metabolic flexibility, flexibility is superhuman and deserves to be said with an epic echo is because you can take on anything and have sustained energy. Want to eat a ton of carbs? Cool! Your body soaks it up and you perform. What if you don't eat for a while? Cool! Your body uses its fat stores and performs. Ooh, what if you want to sprint while you haven't eaten? Cool! Your body releases glycogen from your muscles and you perform. I want to perform with whatever I have and not feel hungry or weak or moody. Although actually metabolic flexibility isn't superhuman, it's just normal human. For the longest time, people just had to go without eating for a while. Maybe there was no food or maybe there's a bunch of food and then you eat a lot and our bodies are set up to deal with that and we had to feel good throughout whatever. But now we don't feel good. Most of us live in a constant state of fed and eating lots of carbs and we never throw challenges at our metabolism. So I don't agree with going low fat and instead having a bunch of carbs. But I also, in the same way, don't agree with the keto diet. If you're always in ketosis, you lose the enzymes and the gut bacteria to process carbs. So in this case, when your body gets carbs, it panics. And also getting into ketosis the first time sucks. There's this thing called the keto flu where you basically feel key terrible. But the more you do it, the more you can slip in and out of ketosis completely unaffected. So again, I think that I've trained my body to do that. And again, it's only been thinking up until now. So this challenge will be proof that I can go from carbs to fat burning. And when I say carbs, I mean carbs. I'm having 300 grams tonight. And it's not just this pasta. I shot this music video earlier. This moment. So chocolate cake too. I'm trying to make this challenge extra difficult before starting the clock to see how fast I get to fat burning. And go. I'm gonna do my first test right now. After all that pasta, I don't need to prove that I'm not in ketosis, but also let's just try out this thing for the first time. The reading that I'm trying to get to for this challenge is 0.5. That's when you've entered ketosis and I'm officially burning fat and then I will stop the clock and know that I completed the challenge. It also knows your glucose so I can test both of them and glucose is what I'm testing here continuously with levels whereas here with the blood it's just one exact moment of your glucose. And the way that this will tell me that number is by sacrificing some of my blood. This has a needle in it and you put it in there. Yes I said needle. Okay this is going well already top off, it should expose the pointy thing to go into my skin. Ready for my biohazardous waste. Now I just gotta get said biohazardous waste under my finger. Oh, this is like a gun. Loaded. I just push the button and it goes in and out. And again, I wanna say that this is gonna measure the same thing as that, but it's gonna suck more. And also it's not a long graph over time. So this is way better and cooler. And thank goodness that this technology has improved. Anyway, back to the needle thing. Okay, and I forgot this. Right, obviously I want to be sterile if I'm putting a hole in myself. My meter's gonna give up, it's taking too long. Okay, spags, just do it. Gah! 
Okay. Not that bad. Oh, wait. Now I gotta make blood come out. Come here. Gonna be a little close up of that. Okay. Wait, where did my meter? Okay. Now I just put this into there and it soaks it right in. And I gotta count down to my glucose. 88. All right. Now hopefully with the same hole in me. Where's the other? Ketone. And I was nervous on the first one, so I missed showing you it's sucking it up, but here you go. Just like Dracula. Come on, vampire. There we go. And now, nine seconds to see my results. It's three seconds for glucose, so a little bit longer on my ketones. Low! All oh, right. I have no ketones in my blood. I just ate a crap ton of cake. Now, someone who's never been in ketosis could take up to a week to get into it. As someone who's on the keto diet but gets kicked out by having carbs, it could take them up to three days of going back onto the keto diet to get back into ketosis. So if I'm not metabolically flexible, then this could be a long and difficult challenge, complete with flu. Good morning. Uh, how we doing? No, I don't sleep in glasses and fitness clothes. This is just for illustration. I've been fasted for 10 hours now and I'm most certainly not in ketosis, probably, but let's be thorough. Why not stab myself again? Then I will get better at this. And let me go wash my hands. Okay, which one is the victim today? Go with middle finger. I'm having a good day. I don't feel like I'll need it to flick anyone up. Load up my gun here. Satisfied. I also imagine my glucose levels are really high because when I wake up, I have a lot of cortisol and I'm very excited for the day. Still nervous about this. Good, okay, go. Yeah. It's not that bad. It is worse than putting my levels on, but not not that bad. All right, blood, come on. I have great circulation. That's not true. You kidding me? What the? Does anybody have this problem that's doing home tests? I can't get blood to come out. I really do think it's a poor circulation thing. I have Raynaud's phenomenon where I turn purple when I'm freezing cold, so in an ice rink, I'm very colorful. Hey, okay, let's try this again. Other middle finger. And this device has a depth setting, so I'm going all the way deep into my skin. Come on, blood to the end of me. Yeah, the other one still hurts, and I gotta do this one now. Ugh. Such a wimp. Looking a little better. Yeah, my monitor gave up. Yes, I know, I'm new at this. Okay, glucose first. 86. Hmm, not as high as I thought, because my body was okay with that cake overnight. Another test, can I get enough? Yeah. That should be fine. I work out my veins, is that a thing? Like I wanna put my hands in cold water and then hot water and cold water. I wonder if that would work. Future challenge video? Ketone test takes more blood too. You can tell that there's like a bigger slit there. 0.3! What? <laughs> no way! I totally thought it would say zero. That's crazy. It's only been 10 hours and I'm already like, I mean, that's not full ketosis or anything, but like I'm already on my way. That's. Dope. This may not be like a four day video. Wait, I'm like, I'm pretty impressed with me right now. What? Good job, buddy. And I want to say I have ketones in my blood, but I'm not in ketosis yet. I just imported my two data points, which was glucose and ketones. And then you can use that to calculate GKI. GKI is better than just looking at ketones because both ketones and glucose are just like a snapshot of a moment in your body. And they could be affected by different things like stress, like I mentioned cortisol in the morning, or ketones could be affected by a really fatty meal. Well, the formula to calculate GKI kind of takes out those variables and gives you a better idea of your metabolic status at the time. And then you can use this chart to know if you're in a low, moderate, or high level of ketosis, depending upon if you want to lose weight all the way up to fighting disease and like heavy therapy. So right now my GKI is 15.9 and I am not in ketosis. But surprisingly closer than I thought at this time and how much longer is it going to take to get there? I happen to have a coffee meeting today so I'm brisk walking there because this kind of low level physical activity should help me get into ketosis faster as long as I don't go too hard. So intense physical activity would make me release glycogen and that's not good. We want to just go into fat burning mode, so not so hard. Of course I'm doing black coffee because I don't want any calories, so no sweeteners, no cream. I'm trying to use my body to fuel me, not some frappuccino. I'm now a little over 13 and a half hours after my big carby meal, and I also want to show you what it did to my blood glucose level. So cake and pasta took me out of the target zone, but also not that badly. I mean, it could have been worse, but I also didn't just have pasta and cake. There was stuff before it with fiber and protein and fat, but then I also want to show you the crap sleep I had, see how it's bouncing around, and, and too high I was even out of the target zone and, and while I was unconscious. I do think I need to make some adjustments on how late that I eat. But anyway, then you can see those dots are my walk and my coffee, and then things started to settle down afterwards.
It's also possible that the caffeine in the coffee would make my glucose levels go up, but I think the walking kind of tempered that. And also, I never finish a coffee. I have like 100 milligrams of coffee a day, and that's my limit. Also because I don't want to get too addicted, I still want to feel awesome whenever I do have a little bit more. But I digress. Let's just bleed a little more again. One of these times, I'm totally going to be over it. <sighs> Yeah. The actual pricking is fine, it's just the moment before that's the problem. 85. Okay. And did the walk and ketone me further? 0.3. It did not. <laughs> okay, guess I gotta wait a little longer. What if this is just a video where I sit at 0.3 for a week? Okay, shh. No. Don't agree with that. I'm now 18 hours into my fast and I probably would have tested sooner, but I was editing that cake music video. And video editing always just makes my hours disappear. It's like a guaranteed flow. Let's see if sitting on the couch moved the needle at all. And I really truly mean sitting. Like when I'm video editing, I even forget to pee. I'm fine. I've totally done this enough times. It doesn't bother me. Actually, once again, <laughs> worrying about it is worse than the actual thing. Checking glucose first again. 68. Ooh, way lower than I expected. Huh. I'm getting down there. Well, this may mean a better ratio for my GKI. Well, let's find out if my body is now making ketones to fix that energy gap from my drug and glucose. Ooh, point four. I might be in GKI ketosis because my glucose was so low. Let's find out, import, and do your calculation thingy. Ah, no, 9.4. The cutoff is at nine. So I do still need to get to that 0 0.5 to be in ketosis, but Hey, it's still light out. I'm racing faster than I expected in this Metabolic Olympics. Now I'm really gonna try and sprint in this race. I mean, metaphorically. This is just an easy hike. I do wanna mention, even if I'm not necessarily in ketosis, I've not eaten in now 19 hours and I'm completely energized. I don't feel like I need to eat. I'm doing just fine on this walk. So that's a good sign. I mean, that's a quality of metabolic flexibility. T T. We're now at 20 and a half hours. It's also possible that my hike caused me to burn more ketones and so there'll be less in my blood. Eat. Ugh, I'm fine. Hey. The suspense. Six, five, four, okay. Ah, 0.04. Still need some time. We're now a little over 21 hours in and I'm testing again because now is when I would eat. And so if I'm in ketosis right now, that means that I truly go from a ton of carbs to being in ketosis in a 24 hour period every day over and over again, which I think would be remarkable. Yeah, okay. But I don't really know because again, I made this up and I don't know anybody else doing it. Although I would love for this trend to catch on where all these YouTubers are now just fasting and seeing how quickly they can go keto. Doing glucose again. It's interesting that after my hike, it was actually higher than before. All right, down to 68 again. Whew. All right, competitor, is this the finish line? Are you about to hit that podium? One, no. 0.7, oh, overshot it. Okay, that's dope. Damn. It might've been that I burned some ketones on my hike and then now they're back in my blood again. This is awesome, I did it. Stop the clock at, what are we at? 21 hours and 15 minutes-ish. Sweet, this is not a four day video. Ha, huh. wait, my GKI, what's that? 5.3, it's not even in the low level of ketosis, it's moderate. Hmm. So I've gone even past fat burning and now I'm to fighting metabolic disorders and helping insulin resistance. I'm actually pretty darn surprised and like proud. When I use those pea strips, I feel like, uh, maybe they're lying to me and like, I feel metabolically flexible, but I'm probably just like, lying to myself and it's really cool to have an actual measure of it instead of me guessing and wondering and doubting myself man do i love numbers you know i haven't done an extended fast with my levels so do i want to keep going yes i definitely want to see what happens with that so mm, screw dinner i mean i was already thinking this might go longer so why not the longest fast i've ever done is 68 hours and i pr'd my back squat at the end of it without eating overnight fasts always seem so much harder to me though like not eating for a full day is rough. I do enjoy having dinner, but not as much as I'm gonna enjoy getting data from this thing. So good night. I'm going to continue to use my body fat as fuel, and I will see you tomorrow. Morning, pallies. Actually, it's 3.59 p.m. I was working all morning, but super focused. Sometimes when I think about fasting, I forget, and I'm like, Oh yeah, that's probably gonna suck. And then it's awesome. I had a fantastic sleep, and look at what my blood glucose was doing. Precisely nothing. 
It's great! That's exactly what you want! But I also now realized why you would want that, because it's directly connected to my HRV. That stands for heart rate variability, which basically is a number measure of how fit you are, how recovered you are, how superhuman you're being, and mine is way up there. Last night I slept so well. I sleep a whole lot of hours, but then my recovery is still crap. Last night I slept a full hour less than I usually do, but I was way more recovered than I usually am. This is a usual assessment of my heart rate variability, I'm like 21% superhuman. So I just learned that sleeping fasted is so good for me. I sleep better and faster. Let me just show you a comparison. That's my normal sleep all bouncing around like that, and there's my way more efficient fasted sleep. And then after that, you can see I woke up, had a little bit of a spike. That was a stressful text conversation with my editor. Gotta get those YouTube videos out in time. Hey, not so bad again. All right, blood, come on out. 80, huh, interesting. Let's see what my continuous glucose monitor says. 78, hey. So they might both be wildly off, but in the exact same way, which I doubt. But also this and a pleasant little ding is way better than this. There's also a ketone breathalyzer, which I thought about testing out, but hey, why not? Just stick metal into me as entertainment for you all. <laughs> My poor pinky. There is a d learning curve to stabbing yourself. Come on, blood. What did I do wrong? Just the teeniest little bit. What did the book say again on size? This tiny little period. Almost there. My meter is bored. Okay, the anticipation. And here we go. Yeah. That was enough. I'm on the edge of my bench press. Point eight. I am proud of the score that I just got on my burning fat as fuel scoreboard. Okay, I got curious because it's been 42 hours now and I was like, well, I might as well test again. Whoa, I did not think it would be that big of a difference in two more hours. I didn't even film doing it because I was like, it's gonna be probably less than 0.8 this time for some reason. But 1.3, holy crap. If I'm at 80 for my glucose and 1.3 on my ketones, then my GKI is 3.42. That's therapeutic level, awesome. So I guess this means that I'm metabolically, metabolically flexible. flexible. Oh right, epic. I'm stoked about my finish in this race. I don't know how it compares to other people. Eh, anybody wanna take this on? We'll say it's only like a five point deduction if you get the keto flu. And even though these results make me really happy, I still wanna stress that I don't know if my choices are optimal. I showed you that my sleep is crap, so I definitely need to adjust when I'm eating because a big meal before seems to be not a good idea. And if you saw my high cholesterol video, I still need to do some digging into that. And maybe this ketosis result will be helpful when I talk to a cardiologist because I definitely need to see one of those. And so I continue my metabolism journey. Stay tuned. <laughs> it turned on.